Hello everyone, welcome to Learn and Clear Exams with me. Today in this video, let's see the official PGCET MCA syllabus. Okay, let's get started. Go to Google and type KA. Press enter. Once after pressing enter, click on first link and then you can change the language. Now I already uh, changed the language for English. Now let's continue. Go to the admission and then click on PGCT 2021 and then you can click on syllabus 2021. Once it, if you click the syllabus 2021, there are several options. Whichever you are going to pursue, say like you want uh, if you are interested in biotechnology you click you can click over there or if you are interested in uh, civil engineering you can click over there similarly if you are interested in MBA you can click and see the syllabus as well as the MCA now let's go for the MCA it's taking time for uh, downloading and then okay the syllabus Okay, here it is like PGCET 2018. Do not worry about that. It is for present year also, the same syllabus. So, before seeing the actual syllabus, let's see uh, the rules or whatever they're given. I'm going to read for you. Let's assume this is 2021. The PGCET 2021 will be held in one session separately for MCA courses conducted for 100 marks with 150 minutes duration each question paper will be of objective that is mcq that is multi choice type the question paper will be in four different versions each question will have four different options different versions in the sense a b c and d okay different options in the sense option a option b option c and option d then 60 question in a part a uh, carry one mark each and 20 questions in part B carry two marks each. Thus, there will be 80 questions and total marks is 100 marks. Total marks is 100 marks. 80 questions, 100 marks. The question distribution will be uh, uh, based on the following pattern with a variation of 5 to 10 percent. Let's see the question pattern. Okay, the question pattern is part A and part B. Part A is 1 mark each and Part B is 2 marks each. Okay. Then you can see the units and the uh, number of questions and the 100 marks. Okay. I think every time it will differ according to me. Like unit 1, 20 approximately. Yeah. They have used the term approximately. It may come 20 or less than that. So do not worry about this, but for sure 100 marks and 80 questions will be there. Then let's see the syllabus. Okay, I'm going to read for you. So unit 1 is mathematics. Unit 2 is computer awareness. Let us zoom. Okay, unit 2 is computer awareness. Then unit 3 is analytical ability and logical reasoning. I, I hope you can see. Unit 4 is general awareness and unit 5 is general English. Now let's see. I am going to read the unit 2 followed by 3, 4, 5. Whereas at last I am going to read what are the contents present in unit 1. Okay. In unit 2. Unit 2 it is computer awareness. In the computer awareness part, there will be, uh, what are the subtopic I am going to read for you. Okay, computer basics, that is organization of a computer, CPU, input output devices, computer memory, programming languages, type of software, general awareness about internet, web application, and then database applications and information systems. Then. Another subtopic is data representation. In that representation of characters, integers, fractions, binary, ASCII and hexadecimal uh, representations. In this I hope you know like conversion of uh, decimal to 
binary and binary to uh, of uh, hexadecimal followed by all the representation it will be there no that uh, kind of questions they will be asking then in binary arithmetic addition subtraction multiplication division make sure you are, you know about to complement uh, arithmetic floating point representation of numbers and then normalized of floating point representations okay coming to uh, os os in a sense operating systems evaluation of operating system type of operating systems functions of an operating system then modern operating system okay these are the things under unit 2 then let's see the unit 3 topics in the unit 3 it is analytical ability and logical reasoning the questions in this unit will cover the logical uh, reasoning quantitative reasoning and we show spatial reasoning it seems so that uh, you can refer some logical reasoning questions or quantitative uh, like in the internet uh, nowadays for logical reasoning and quants and all there are many enormous questions you can take up like mock test and practice this questions or else rs agarwal book also uh, is very good for logical reasoning quantitative okay then i hope uh, you will do really good it will be easy in this uh, section but you have to logically think and do for quants uh, formulas are very very important we show it's very easy then general awareness nothing but gk this unit shall carry the question to test the general awareness that's why i was always telling you uh, current affairs you must be knowing or else past affairs uh, affairs also they will ask okay general awareness about business finance industry transportation uh, scientific uh, inventions govern governance health care and cultural dimensions then coming to general english part the questions in this unit will be basic english grammar vocabulary comprehension synonyms antonyms sentence correction word and phrases then jumbled paragraph i hope you people will really do good in this english part it will be basics but try to attend some mock tests and also that it will be you'll be, uh, be getting confidence and then before exam if you attend any mock test so that it will be easy you know okay then let's see the uh, mathematics algebra in the under algebra fundamental operations in algebra expansion factorization simultaneous linear quadratic equations followed by indices logarithms arithmetic I hope I hope you know that AP, GP, and HP. Then binom binomial theorem, permutation, combination, determinants, matrices, very very important sets and application to solution of simultaneous linear equations. Then coming to second subtopic under mathematics, it is coordinate geometry. or you can pronounce it as coordinate geometry. Under this rectangular Cartesian Uh, coordinates and then equations of line uh, midpoint intersections uh, equations of circle distance formula this uh, distance for a uh, formula equations of circle uh, do learn the formulas very very important pair of straight lines parabola ellipse hyperparabola then simple geometric transformation such as translation rotation and scaling boolean algebra under boolean algebra basic operations evaluation of boolean expressions basic postulates very very important basic postulates of boolean algebra then followed by uh, trigonometric uh, trig uh, trigonometry is very very important guys okay simple identities trigonometric equation properties of triangle inverse function then probability and uh, statistics last topic under mathematics basic concept of probability theor theory averages dependent and independent events uh, frequency distribution then 
measures of uh, dispersion squeeness kurtosis correlation regression then random variables okay i hope you all have noted down or take the screenshot or else you can download it okay that's it about syllabus then let's see the question paper okay see 2020 question paper click on this then mba mca whatever click on mca then you can see the question paper this is the official question paper which we got last time last year i hope you can see the screen you can even download uh, in i think in last so one of the video i have shared the 2018 and 2020 question paper same question paper guys do practice it same questions won't be coming at all pattern may be same even the syllabus copy uh, for sure 90 percent it will be same here and the 10 10 percent out of the syllabus also it may come so make sure you prepare well see i i think i got version number d you will be getting different version but questions will be same with four options then yeah that's it further if any query you can call to ka board also in the working hours okay then let's stop the recording Thank you for watching. Stay home, stay safe and get vaccinated. Bye.